Are you guys ready for a science experiment? Today we are going to work with two different chimeras in two different ways. We have here one that's called Remembering Alaska, which is very beautiful. It's done in bloom right now. And we are going to be working with Bloom Lovers Fairy Tales. And this one will be worked a little bit different because it has blooms and we will be treating the bloom stalks to see if we can reproduce any chimeras from there. So this big girl will be having her crown removed. It's going to have surgery and this one uh, not. So to start, I these are in smaller pots and since I'm going to take the crowns off, it's going to help them to be in larger pots. So I will repot them right now and we'll be right back. I should really mention that I will be repotting the plants, but I will not be disturbing the roots. If I were to repot by disturbing the roots, I wouldn't want to cut it out, cut the centers out immediately because, you know, that's kind of too much shock. So I will simply, I'm popping this out of the soil and putting it in, into a new pot and I'm not going to disturb anything at all. Before I go any further, I should mention that if any of you need to know what a chimera is and don't know, please look at the description below. I will be adding a link in there to, uh, to the video called What is a Chimera? where I give basic information of what these very beautiful plants are. I am back with two fully potted up plants. They're in water. They're going to drink what they need. Because at this point, I do not want them to let um, to dry up because they are going to have surgery. Well, this one is at least. So we want to keep the conditions like really, really good for it so it won't have any problems. And we are ready to begin. We are going to begin with Remembering Alaska. And I'm going to do my best to show you everything that I'm going to do. I think it would be better to go up high and have you look down so otherwise I don't know how to do it so you can see everything so the thing we want to do is we want to remove the center of the plant so I'm going to begin you can cut it out or you can just take it out I have nails and I know what I'm doing so I'm just going to pinch in whoops the little center now this little center is a chimera and I will pot it up, let it grow, whoops, and if it works out, fine, actually there's not, no, I'm not going to pot it up, it all broke up, it's okay, I have lots of others. So we remove the center and I'm going to flatten this out, I'm going to make as much space as I can, not space, but create as much damage as I can in the middle. Hope you're seeing correctly remove these leaves I think you'll see better and I'm going to create a hole in the middle by the way this is something that you can do with all African violets it's not a chimera thing it's an African violet thing if you take away the head or the crown a new one will grow or multiple crowns will grow because it becomes in um, for for the violet it's like you know, life or death, it needs to grow and has nowhere. Because African violets grow from the center out, when you remove the center, it's, it kind of goes like, oh my God, I have, it doesn't know what to do anymore. So to give itself the better chances of uh, living, it will sprout many little babies sometimes just one but often there will be many okay so we are left with a little stump in the middle and i'm going to cut that out flatten it out and this way i'm exposing as many reproductive cells as possible i'm giving it a hard time by the way you see this little leaf over here and I mentioned this in many of my videos, but when you see smaller leaves that are under larger leaves, you want to remove these all the time. I call them little sucker leaves. They just suck all the energy of the plants and don't do anything for the plant. 
on this one also because I want a lot of energy to go to the center I'm going to leave all the um, the nice green leaves but I will remove the older ones because they will be pulling energy for nothing and they're not giving back so this is what we are ending up with now you'll be curious to see what happens I know what's going to happen but I will show you as we go along just to recap I don't know the science in the back of it but the center cells of the main stem the reproductive cells that are there are chimeral there will be a few in there that are not chimeral but we don't know that that we the only way to know is to grow up the plant and ha make it go into bloom and that's when we get the um, yes it's a chimera or no it's not that's it folks as simple as one two three in my case I'm not going to give this any special conditions I will show you in a bit where I'm going to put it and we are going to follow the progression as it goes along so for now we are all done here that's it very very simple and we're going to go to plant number two this one it's a little more delicate for this one we are going to need something that's called kaiki grow um i can't tell you right now where to find it but i did buy this online many many years ago and i don't know if it is still good or not because when i opened it i haven't used this in years and years like 10 years and you see this was all yellow on the side sorry about that and when i got it it was green so i don't know if this is going to work out or not but that's what we have for today so i will try it out if it doesn't work that's okay i'll just order more and you know we'll do another video but this is what the stuff looks like it's a little paste it's all hormones uh, I can't tell you more about the product, but I, all I know is that you put this on uh, some living cells and it multiplies. I just noticed, guys, that if you're looking for this, these hormones, I just saw on the, the pot, they, it came from Plant Hormones Canada. So if you want to look online, you may find it. Like I said, I bought this many, many years ago. And I don't know if the company still exists, if they still sell. I don't know. So pardon me if I'm yelling at you in the microphone. I'm going to be very, very close to the camera. And I don't know how to do this another way. Because we need to get in close. Otherwise, you won't be able to see anything. Now, let me show you what we are going to do. Okay, where we need to treat with the kaiki, and I think it's that's how you say it, I'm not sure. We are going to treat just over the little leaves. So the action is very simple, but they're very, very easy to um, rip off. So I'm gently going to scratch over the where the little leaf connects to the stem. I'm just going to gently scratch with a needle not not a lot I'm just injuring the the skin of the uh, I don't know how you say it I'm just in making a little injury and then I'm going to grab a little bit of kaiki it's not much let me see if I can get this in the camera I have my needle and it has just a little bit of kaiki grow on it and I'm going to push some of those little hormones right in where I made the injury. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, it's not easy to working with the camera in your face. And I can't look through the camera because I can't see. So I'm going to do, and this is not focusing. Okay, let me find another way. Let's just do another one that's going to be easier to see. Oh, here's a nice big one. So I'm going to hold on to the stem and gently. Oh my God, my light is bad. I can't even see. 
gently scrape like and when I say gently I mean gently this little stem the little leaf that I'm scraping over is about not even it's like a millimeter thick so it's very very easy to scrape through it and again I will add my little cakey grow now I'm not putting a lot of the the hormones on it because what will happen if you put a lot of it it kind of goes crazy and makes a big big clump um, the what I'm doing right now will create a big clump of little babies if it works out but um, if you put a big clump on there it's just too much so you have to gently just a little bit to um, promote the growth I'm going to do the same thing on this side oh, let me grab the leaves and it's not focusing it's focusing on my nails again I'm going to gently scratch like that. I'm just dipping my nail, and I'll show you in a sec. Just dipping it into the kaiki grow. And there you go. And just slide the nail through, and a little bit of hormone will be set in there. Just to show you, I'm not. Uh, let's focus on there. I just learned something guys if I tap on my screen on the item the thing I want to focus on it focuses So I'm not picking up hormones like this. I'm simply Oh, now it's stuck on it <laughs> When I pick up the hormones, I just put my little It's not a nail. It's a pin a pin. I'm not I, I think I was using the word nail I'm just poking the the hormone and that's it let me screenshot it and it's not working okay but you get the idea it's just a little very very thin little um a thin little layer of keiki so i will finish up the rest and i guess i don't need to show you and i will be back in a minute to show you what we're going to do with it Okay, so this is where they're going to stay for a few months. I'm going to keep them close. Otherwise, if I put them back downstairs, they may get lost in the jungle. And I want to keep um, an eye on these to show you what happens. So again, nothing there. I'm going to leave all the flowers on because I don't want the stems to die off prematurely. I'm just going to let everything go natural. We'll see what happens. They have good lights they're close to where i work so i will be back with part two of what happens next so I look forward to the next video i hope you've enjoyed seeing how chimeras are reproduced if you have question uh, questions on what we have done today please feel free to ask them below if you have questions on what is going to happen to these plants well just wait for the next videos I will explain and show you everything if you want to know if the part two of this video is already posted please look in the description below as I will add the link to the part two video to this video in the description as soon as it, it is uh, made up and uploaded if you can't find a link down below, it's because it has not been created yet. I wish you all a wonderful day and we will see you soon.